Hey guys, it's Nikki. Welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to come on with a quick Dollar Tree haul for you today. It's kind of small and I picked most of this up last week, but I didn't have time to record. So you've probably seen most of this, um, although it was new to me when I saw it in the store. So the first thing is this plush yarn. So it's different from the chenille. You can see it's kind of like this furry fuzzy. Um, and it's so soft. I picked up these two colors. I'll insert a picture here of all the colors that they had, but this is going to add such neat texture to like your tassels or your garlands or anything. I just, I'm really excited about using that. The next thing I found were these seed beads, and this is a mix of just different color of purples. There's um, just all different shades. They're all really tiny. It's all the, let's see if the millimeter is on here. It's not. Um, and this isn't a Crafter Square item or Green Briar. It is Beater's Paradise. So I'm not sure if they just got overstock of something, but there was a whole box of different uh, varieties here. This was the only one that I picked up. I got the purple and I thought I would use it like during Halloween in a sequins mix. So I'll insert a picture here if I have uh, the one of the more colors. Um, I did find the cupcake picks at my stores. I picked up the three Halloween and the three fall ones. I did open up this one. I opened up the bats um, just because I wanted to show you what the actual head of it looked like is that. And I was just able to pull the toothpick right out of it. So you can use it as a flat back. Um, you know, there isn't a hole in the top for a bead or anything, but um, you know, you could pull these off if you wanted to, or they'd be cute in like a tag or, you know, just all different fun things to use, but that's a cute little cute little bat to have. You could even use him in a sequins mix if you were using the, the 10 millimeter foam. Um, so then I also picked up the uh, jack-o'-lantern face for Halloween and then the skulls in the gray. And then for fall, they had the sunflowers, which were super cute. The kind of more um, orangey red pumpkins with no face and then the cute acorns and the chocolate brown color. So I picked up those. I also picked up some of these um, cupcake toppers and these were more just little like die cuts and I got the Halloween ones. I did see that they had uh, fall ones out as well. I did not grab those. So you get two of each. There is the jack-o'-lantern, the bat, uh, the cat, and the white ghost. So again, I thought those were really cute. They'll make cute little embellishments on your projects. Um, I did pick up two of the fall ribbons. I'll insert a picture of the other one styles that they had, but these were the two that I liked. Um, I like that it's kind of got a copper uh, glitter in there. Um, take that out so you can see it. And then they have the gold um, edge on the top and the bottom. And then this one is just like that burnt orange color. So super pretty for fall. Um, and then I picked up these coffin boxes, you guys, and they had the larger size. I didn't grab them, grab them, but I'm I think I'm gonna go back. So you get three of them. It looks like this, three in there, and they come like this flat. So that, that one says happy Halloween, Halloween trick or treat. Um, I took one and put it together. So how cute is that? And this is such a cute little size. It is um, about four and a half inches. Um, and like I said, they did have a larger size. I don't think the larger size actually had any that looked like actual tombstones, but I could be wrong. Um, but anyway, super easy to put together. I can see like some putting some shred in there and then just adding some beads or little um, candies or something for a, a Halloween swap. Super cute. So I loved that. Um, you could even take one apart like this and use it as a template. If you wanted to create one with your own cardstock, you certainly could do that. Um, so it matched your paper or you could take a glue stick and glue your paper right on top of this and then you'll have the folds there um, and then it would match your collection as well so you know do that I have two more things to show you the first one are these witch hats I picked these up because I just saw Nettie H creates her channel she listed what she did with this how this uh, witch hat last year for Halloween and it is so stinking adorable I'm gonna link her video down below but you're gonna want to grab these they turned out so absolutely so cute so anyway I got the witch hat to copy what she did and then lastly I did pick up um, some rub-on transfers I kind of wasn't really into these last year when they came out um 
but I was glad that they brought them back this year because I've been buying rub-on transfers. So um, these are the Halloween ones. I love the little like Jack Skellington face there. That's super cute. Um, and I think these are the exact same ones they had last year. This is kind of like that purpley vibe, the um, haunted house, the skulls, the creepy spiders. That one is really cool. And then this one, uh, it's got the snakes and just the kind of the more vintage look to it. So I just picked up two of each of those. I'm hoping that I can find some fall ones as well. But that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching my haul, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.